Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time, we're going back to Jimmy Reed again, talking about Take Out Some Insurance. This is a real interesting song. I was kind of surprised to find out that it's not actually a hit for Jimmy Reed. I guess it had huge sales in Louisiana, but it wasn't a nationwide charting hit, um, apparently. But then look at all the people who came after who did it, including even Tony Flanagan and the Savage Beatles. So there's even a Beatles connection. They did that in when they were a rock and roll band in Germany. Um, and they were the backing band for the rockabilly singer Tony Flanagan. And then so many people went on and on and on to do this. I want to talk about the form of a song like this. This is a 16-bar blues with a bridge and a four-bar intro. And this is um, not only a great song with some great bedrock basic blues guitar playing in it, but this is a great way to learn how to explain the form. Let's say you have to play this in a blue, you want to play this in a blues jam, and people might not understand the form, so you can explain it. So in order to explain it, you got to understand it. So first there's this four bar blues, I mean four bar intro, which is just... <laughs> down that's that's the beginning of the singing notice the guitar laid out then didn't do this now I'm using my thumb but you can just as easily be more authentic if you want to and use your thumb pick no problem and it would sound like this This goes back to the Magic Sam lesson I was talking about. Either way, thumb, pick, thumb, pick, you've got this kind of boom whack. This is the first thing you gotta learn when you play the blues, to me. Not the pentatonic blues scale, but this, a lump de lump. So, I'm doing this calm thing like this, so it's not this. This has its place. This is playing without any muting on the right hand at all. Just first finger, and then third finger on the fourth fret, pinky on the fifth fret of the e, A string. But it's almost a groove just doing that, right? So I've got the blade of the this part of my hand here. It's almost a groove right there, isn't it? So I'm going to do the four bar intro. One, two, three, four. started singing and that when he starts singing that's a cue that's the beginning of your form and then it's a 16 bars so I had to count it what's the joke how do you get a guitar player to turn down you put a chart in front of them right it's true so this song has two verses a bridge and another verse and a fade out short and sweet two minutes and 20 something seconds here we go one two three four I'm just going to let the loop play, turn it down, and I'll talk about what just happened. So that was a 16-bar blues. The first eight bars are on the one. 
and there's a break for the last two bars of those. So I counted to 16 bars. It's not that crazy. And now you know what's going on. And if you can, sometimes it helps, you know, to memorize the lyrics because then you know, like, in case somebody else doesn't know the form, if they sing a certain lyric, you know when they went to the bridge, even if they didn't go to the bridge at the right time. You know, don't get no sick or accident. That's the bridge. So the bridge, after they do the verse twice, is just four, two, two bars of four, two bars of one, two, again, two bars of four, and a break for two bars on the on me, you back the. So notice that I'm going all down strokes, and I'm kind of going. There's two ways to do it. You can kind of go, or just hit each note. I mean, hit. You can. I'm hearing it two ways. You hear the the typical boom whack thing I like to talk about. Which is the low E string and then the two strings together. But I also hear it just two strings all the way through, striking two strings all the way through, like. I hear it both ways in that. They do both of those little trills on the second fret of the D and E string from time to time. So anyway, so I hope that helps you like understand where things are. So let's say again, you were gonna play this song. Say so it says a four bar intro on the one, then it's a 16 bar blues, I'll cue the breaks, right? You know, they might not count, but it's gonna make some me. You can bring your head down a little bit without, you know, um, you still have to be able to sing it. I could live if you should give all your love to someone else. Gonna take out some insurance on me. You could even do a helpful signal, right? Four, right? Insurance on me, baby. Take out some insurance on me, baby. And then we've talked about this. This is their four chord. Sometimes you hear that. Doo -doo, da -da, da -da. It's hard to hear. You gotta use headphones. Or, I know you hear it looking for this. But that's the other guitarist, but you're probably gonna have to do it because somebody else might not know to do it. That's first finger on the fourth fret, D, G, and B. Second finger on the fifth fret, E string. What's that? B seventh chord, right? The easy way. You don't see that all the time, but it is in there. And then the funny thing is, the second guitar answers this sometimes with this i thought it was so strange to use this chord shape because you just don't see it that much in these jimmy reed songs but there it is and i was thinking gee did he put a cape on and do it here but then the rest of the song didn't make sense now i'm playing like in the a position right but I don't think he did that. I really don't. He just went ahead and did it here, which is unusual, but hey. So first it's, it's Eddie Taylor doing that on the four bar intro. That happens three times. And then he starts to sing. And then you hear that to sort of answer. So that's, that's someone else playing that. And then Take out some insurance.
it's more loose and like this rather than chunk 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 and that's part of the uh, part of the charm in these records you've got this really loose while you have this one you have two different kind of conflicting things going together to give a complete picture you know it's like having salt and pepper or something or you know it's two complementing different things that that sort of make it easy and fun to listen to that's a lump right i'm talking about the second guitar now it's like the middle of your a chord six and five g and b strings and then you do the same way you have this those are the same notes as this then third finger pinky on the seventh and eighth also he doesn't do this note on the turnaround he just plays this he just leaves out the E string so now I'm going to play better the second guitar with the loop on into the open G string. Yeah. That's that D shape again. That's what I call it. Four, five, and four on the G, B, and E strings. Me to the dead, better take out some and shot. You can do it here. Sounds better here though. Yeah, and the bridge you can just go. So it's like real tagging along. He's like tagging along, and and the guy really doing the hefty lifting, I think, is Eddie Taylor with the uh, with this part. More of a a heavy, definite downstroke rather than sort of almost brushing the guitar. He's really stroking it, you know. All downstrokes. So anyway, that's how that song goes. Um, four bar intro on the one. 16 bars with the brakes. You can just say, I'll cue the brakes, you know? Rather, I mean, because you don't want to overload people with so much information, their head blows up. Then the bridge is an eight bar bridge. So you notice, like, people like numbers like four, 12, eight, 16, right? You know, it's not reinventing the wheel, but um, maybe not everybody understands this, this form. So hopefully this helps you, and thanks a lot. If you enjoyed this uh, video do subscribe share it with your friends um, check out my earlier video on the four bar intro usually the four bar intro isn't on the one it's usually like that it would have a five in there or it would start in the five This one is a four bar intro on the one and you can say when I sing that starts the form right um, so good luck and uh, drop me a line with any comments please comment on the video and um, see you next time <laughs>